I apologize for any uh, distractions or mess today. This room is still being occupied by the new kitten, Mo, at least until he is safely dewormed and then he can roam the house and interact with Benny unsupervised. Until then, we'll keep him in here and yeah, he kind of took over the studio. <laughs> But I don't think I need too much space today because today's video is about Sison. This is kind of a follow-up or a part two to last week's video. It was a two-part question. It was asking for a video about Petite Allegro Jetés, which we did last week. And then it was also asking about Sisons. And I said, okay, I want to make that a separate video because Jetés in Petite Allegro and Sisons are not the same thing. They're pretty different. Sison is, to be honest, Sison, there, there are a lot of variations and permutations and overlap with Sison, so this might be a kind of confusing video. I'm going to try my best to keep it simple and pragmatic. Today I am mainly going to focus on Sison Simple, Sison Overt, Sison Fermé, and Sison Fondue. There are more forms of Sison. There's a Sison Tombe, there's Sison Renversé, there is a Sison Superso, and those are a little bit more advanced, so maybe we'll save those for another time, but today we're going to go over like the basic Sisons that you see the most frequently. Also, you all know I have a bad back, jumping hurts a lot. I've got the back brace on, but either way, I'm not going to be doing big, huge, impressive jumps. I think today we're more going to be focusing on the coordination of the legs. As usual, my right ankle has the sock on it, the leg warmer, because it's the bad ankle. So if at any point you are confused, whether I'm talking about right, left, which leg am I using? The blue sock is the right leg. Matches my walls which I hope to paint white soon, because it's a lot. This is a lot of blue. Okay, so Sison at its core is a jump from two feet to, oh, you hear my ankle crack? <laughs> at its core, Sison is a jump from two feet to one foot. Yeah, so before we even balletify it in fifth position, just practice jumping from two feet to one foot. Two feet to one foot. That's the goal. That's the feeling behind Sison. So Sison Simple, which is like the first most basic simple form of Sison that you learn like as a beginner, you start in fifth position, you plie and your weight is equally in both feet. Now let's see if I can do this in, in a little bit of a slow motion. So you plie and you jump, and when you jump in the air, your legs suck together. They squeeze together. So you don't just jump and, and leave them. There should be no space between the legs in your initial jump in Seesaw Simple. So you jump and you squeeze the legs together so they become one, and just pretend and in the air right now and then upon landing in this case I'm going to do my front leg sur le coup de pied upon landing you bring one of your feet into sur le coup de pied and then you can either finish it with an ensemble or if you're a super super beginner you do your seesaw simple and then you just put it down. And to the back, it's the same thing. Plie equally, jump up upon landing. You land with a foot in sur le coup de pied. You can either just place it down or you can finish with an ensemble. That is the most basic seesaw sample. Usually the little kids in the Vaganova Academy are doing the same exercise just over and over again. Sometimes they add the assemble. You can also do this to the side. Uh, 
But the goal of this is to get the coordination of the up, the transfer, and the sticking, the landing. Now, the next seesaw we can talk about is seesaw overt. Now, overt means open. So when we end the jump, the leg has to be out in an extended position somewhere. And it can be front, side, or back. The easiest way to get into this is to kind of take your seesaw sample that we just did and kind of let it evolve a little bit. So we were just practicing jumping and landing in sur le coup de pied. Now you just crank that up a notch and it's the same basic mechanics. The only difference is instead of landing here, you want your leg to be extended by the time you land. So what this is not, this is not like a balote where if you extend it after the landing. That, that is not it. It's a jump and it's already out by the time you land. So it's not delayed, it's out by the time you land. And you can either, you know, just close it through a tendu, but most of the time a sea song leads into a different movement. Like right there, I just did a coupe assemblé. Seesaw is almost always done with something before it and something after it. So there is no one single correct way to end your seesaw. So this is where things can get a little murky. So just to avoid confusion, we can keep our arms in the preparation position. Like everything else in ballet, there are many variations and permutations of what you can do with the arms. But for now, to avoid confusion, you can just keep them here, that's totally fine. And traditionally, a petite or medium season overt only goes to about 45 degrees. So we're not really doing like a big, broad, allegro, impressive season. So here, we're still kind of in the 45 degree territory. And I'm finishing these with an assemblé. You don't have to. You could just put it down, or you could go into something else, which is how it's usually done. So I've been showing this seesaw overt with a developé. You can also do a seesaw overt with a straight leg without the developé. And no matter which direction you're doing it, whether you're doing it quasi, or a face, or traveling forward, or traveling backward. The coordination is the same as we just did in Seesaw Sample. It's from two. You push off of two equally, and then transfer to one. A lot of us have this habit of favoring whichever leg is leading. A lot of the times we want to like kind of stay on the front leg. That's not going to help you. You should always use Use the power of both. Why would you deny yourself 50% of your power by favoring one leg? Yeah, you have two feet, double the power, double the fun, double the flavor. <laughs> Whether you're going front, or side, or back. So now the confusing part of all of this is, look, I just did a seesaw overt, and my leg is open. I finished in an open position. And then I put it down and do something else. Doesn't that kind of look like a fermé? Now we're getting into Cisson fermé territory. But the difference between my Cisson overt and my Cisson fermé is where the kicking leg is by the time you land. So Cisson overt, whether you do it with a developé, whether you do it with a straight leg, it doesn't matter. By the time you land your seesaw overt, the leg is still up upon landing. And then usually it can go into some other movement. Seesaw fermé, well, fermé means to close. And at first glance, seesaw fermé looks like 
the legs close almost exactly at the same time. But if you were to like slow it down or do it in slow motion, or even just pay a little extra attention, they don't close exactly at the same time. Otherwise it would be like, <laughs> it would be kind of like awkward. So the way that Cison Ferme is taught, a jump, but it's almost like, it's almost like when you land, that's when your back foot is also in tendu. It is slightly behind. They don't close in fifth immediately. It's jump and then slide it in. Jump and then slide it in. But it's almost like one and. You don't get a whole extra count. It's not one and two. It's, it just like follows along. It just like sweeps the floor right behind you. So if a teacher is saying like, close your legs faster, close your legs faster, it's, it's not saying to do this. It, it probably means that even though you're doing a Cisson Ferme, you're still lingering a little bit, like you're still taking too long or it's looking too much like an overt. You know, if your teacher is like, close it faster, together, together, it just means to like collect it a little faster. And again, any direction, front side, back, traveling forward, traveling backwards, traveling to the side. For now, you can just keep your arms in the pre 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 preparation position. And it's any direction, any direction, any direction, any direction. You typically see these uh, season for maize are easier to do faster. So it's more common to see these little like jumpy petite allegro things. Now, if you're watching my feet and you're like, what's going on, Victoria? Sometimes I see people change or did I just change? So <laughs> sometimes I see people change. Sometimes they don't change. Sometimes it's the front foot that changes. Sometimes it's the back foot. Sometimes it's the back foot, no change, change. change. There's, it's kind of confusing. There is a proper name and a term for each of these. There's, there's over, under, and then there's, I don't actually know, <laughs> but, 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 link in the description, there is a video out there, Swan Puddle, which I, I love, Swan Puddle. I'm surprised this video doesn't have more likes. It's, it's great. It's a little, little boring at first, but you know, uh, there's a little segment. This is the timestamp. So like, can I link the video? I'm trying, I'm trying to link the video, but you know, I'm not good at YouTube. So if something appears here, that means that's the video I want you to watch. That's where I want you to go because this guy explains it pretty good. Who is this guy? I never heard him before. This, this video is pretty damn good. Like I'm gonna send some of you over there, support that video. He did a good job, I think. The link is in the description with the timestamp. So we covered Cison Simple, which is like the basic rudimentary, jump off of two, land on one, no traveling, nothing fancy, got that out of the way. We did Cison Overt, which can be used with a developé, or it can be done with a straight leg, it can be done medium, it can be done big. We just did Cison Ferme, which means the legs close upon landing. And then we've got one other little trick, one other little trick up the sleeve, Cison Fondue. Cison fondue looks a lot like Cison ferme. They are almost indistinguishable unless you know what you're looking at. Cison fondue is essentially almost <laughs> the same as Cison ferme, except um, instead of landing through this tondu, you know, upon landing, instead of landing through the tondu, again, it's not that slow. I'm just kind of showing it in slow motion. Really, it's a little bit faster than that. Um, instead of landing through that tondu, you land in a fondu. Why would we do that? Why, what is the reason for landing a seesaw in a fondu? Usually it is because you did your seesaw so big, your leg is too high, and you just could not get it into that tendu fifth position in time. You didn't have time for that. But you did not want it to be an overt. You did not want to leave the leg open. You still had to get back to this fifth or almost fifth 
position to do your next thing. I think the most recognizable example of this is uh, the sugar plum variation when, when the music goes like... She does a little, like, Cisson fondue and then opens it again. And she does a Cisson fondue, opens it again. Sometimes we need that. Sometimes we don't want to leave it open in an auberge. We need this little, like, something in between that helps us achieve the look of a ferme, but is bigger, takes more time, and allows us to do something else. So, similar feeling to Cisson Ferme, but you don't close it in fifth. It's a fondue, and then you either put it down or you use it to do something else. So, I hope this helps a little bit. If you're still confused about, well, what does the leg do in overt? What does the leg do in ferme? Why did she just show me fondue? Um, that's okay. That comes with time. That, that comes with just familiarizing yourself with the movements. As long as you can remember, jump off of two, land on one. That is seesaw at its core. So if you're in a ballet class and your teacher's like, seesaw, seesaw, even if you just go, eh, uh, like, even if you're just barely scraping by, as long as you can remember to push off of two and land on one, you're already halfway there. Everything else after that, the terms like overt, with the developé, fermé, fondue, everything else is just kind of like stylizing the jump. All those other terms are just stylizing the jump. If you, if you can grasp jump off of two, land on one, in any general direction, you're already like doing a good job. <laughs> so the words simple, overt, ferme, and fondue, all they are telling you is what to do with the leg after you've gone up in the air. So see song simple, like simple. If this is the most simple version, you, uh, you're up in the air and then what? What's the easiest thing to do? Just tuck it under yourself. That's it. That's, that's like the easiest, least amount of effort you could do. Tuck it under yourself. That's it. You did Cisson simple. Cisson overt. Over, oh, over, open, open, that, like overt. It sounds like the word overt, overtly, like obvious, open, big. So you hear overt, that means, okay, uh, uh, overt, uh, 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 okay. So even if all you got, even if all you could muster up was to jump and leave the leg open, great, that's it. You did see son over. It may not have been perfect. It may not have ended in the position that your teacher wanted it to end in, but you're getting it. Cisson ferme, ferme means to close. So same thing, you jump from two to one, but close it quickly. Two to one, but close it quickly. Two to one, but close it quickly. And then Cisson fondue, the same way you do fondue with the bar. That's it, you just land it in a fondue instead. And then you either put it down or you do another thing. Again, I think the only reason that Cisson's are confusing and like scary is because there are like endless options of what you do after a seesaw. So it's very rare to just see a single seesaw, a single seesaw, that almost never happens. It almost always goes into something else. It almost always has some other thing after it to finish it up. Seesaw is very rarely the end of a combination there is almost always some kind of resolve. So don't let it freak you out. Just remember those key terms. Simple, overt, ferme, fondue. Simple, easy, just keep it under you. Overt, open, okay, open it somehow, some way, whether the knee is bent or straight, just make sure it's open by the time you land. Cisson ferme, close it as quickly as you can. And fondue is just, you know, you just put it in that nice, pretty sur le coup de pied position. Those words just tell you the style of the jump that you're about to do. And then, of course, once you master the basic coordination, there are always tips to improve your seesongs afterwards. How to get a stronger jump, a farther jump, a more controlled jump, a higher jump. Those things come with time, and I'm sure I can make another video at some point later explaining those things. 
uh, especially using examples of uh, popular variations or seesaw variations that are frequently done and we can explain the arms and the everything. But this video is already getting kind of long. Uh, I knew this would happen. I tell myself, oh, I'm just gonna make a real quick video and it turns out to be like super long and we're here forever. So I'm gonna cut it here real quick. Let's praise Mo for being such a good boy. He just took a nap. He was nice and quiet and well behaved this whole time that I was jumping around like a maniac. So he's a good ballet kitty. Okay, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and stay salty.